We often get the question, why is sandblasting important, and is a primer necessary for my project? Today we'd like to answer that question. It is a very important one. A sandblast and primer is as important to powder coating as wings to an airplane. And here's why. Steel, aluminum, and other metal types are too smooth in their natural state to allow a coating to bond securely. You can have sterilized, oil-free metal, but if it's smooth, the powder won't stick very well. The chemistry in powder coating can be likened to Velcro, or a hook and loop system. Without something to grab onto, the coating will soon peel off no matter how clean the metal is. Sandblasting is the process of spraying the parts with a special sand at high velocity. This removes surface contaminants such as oil, scale, and rust, and reveals a consistent, rough profile metal. Here's a close-up view of what a properly sandblasted surface looks like. Sandblasting is an extremely important process for the powder coating to bond securely. Primer is the second critical step prior to powder coating. Powder coats are designed to be extremely durable from external weathering, and the chemistry is engineered as such. A primer coat, however, has poor weatherability, but is designed to be a strong bond, like a glue, between the metal and the finished coat. Here we're going to show you what the results are of a properly pre-treated part. This is a laboratory test that tests the adhesion strength of powder coating to the metal beneath. An anvil with one square inch of surface area is glued to the powder coat with an extremely tough epoxy. Once the epoxy has cured, a hydraulic pump pulls on the anvil, measuring the PSI, or pounds of pull, on the aluminum anvil, attempting to pull the powder coat off the metal. The typical requirement for a pull test is 400 PSI to ensure a strong bond. As you can see here, a thorough sandblast and primer goes well beyond that. In this case, the glue has broken at over 1400 PSI, and the powder is still securely bonded to the metal.